I want a million dollars and I want to find a way that is compatible with me to receive it. Okay. Now there's less resistance in that. You say, I want a million dollars and I know that there are a lot of people who have a million dollars who got it in a way that would not be uncomfortable to me. When you talk about what you want and why you want it, there's usually less resistance within you than when you talk about what you want and how you're going to get it. Because when you pose questions that you don't have answers for, like how, where, when, who, then it sets up a contradiction vibration within you that slows everything down. Statements such as, there must surely be many people on this planet today who have a million dollars and in excess of it, who at one time were standing right where I am, just wanting it and having no idea how it was going to come. Feel how resistance free that statement is. Even though you don't know how or where or when or who, if you know what, and you've talked about why you want it, and you've practiced the thought of it until it's starting to feel very familiar to you, what begins to happen is things that couldn't happen to you now begin happening and ideas that wouldn't even occur to you now begin to occur to you and rendezvous with people that you don't have access to now begin to happen and when your million and many more come to you you will wonder where it always was and so when you start imagining having a million dollars and we're going to play here with you for just a little bit but when you start imagining what that means and we don't want you to just get a million dollars and stop. You're going to want a million dollars always at your disposal. You're going to want to spend that and have another on its heels because we promise you, once you get used to millions of dollars moving through your experience, a million dollars won't last you very long. So what is it that we are wanting you to trust in? The fact that you can be or do or have anything. How is it that we want you to approach it? Slowly and gently. We want you to be happy with where you are. You have to make peace with where you are. And that's why we're talking about these emotional journeys. You got to talk yourself into a different vibe and then different things will come to you. You got to talk about what you want. You got to tell it like you want it to be. You can't face reality and have reality change in any way. You've got to face the parts of reality that you love and fill in the gaps with things that you get from your imagination or from your expectation. And before you know it, you see, so here you are and you've got a lot of good things in your life which you accentuate and talk about and appreciate and make lists of. So you make lists of positive aspects and you get on rampages of appreciation and you look for good wherever you see it and you feel good as much as you can. And then you have goals that you don't know how you're going to achieve. So then you fill those in with imagination and visualization and pretending. And then as you start doing that, you'll have a dream about it that makes it feel more real. Or you'll meet somebody that's really living that way. Or you'll turn on the television and somebody will be talking just like you've been imagining. Or you'll pick up a book or you'll hear another interview. In other words, the universe will help you to rendezvous with whatever the vibration is that you've finally achieved. And little by little, you just work yourself in to where you've filled in the gaps that you're not now living with your vibration as you've used your imagination. The universe does not know the difference between someone who has a million dollars and someone who just feels like they have a million dollars. And when you feel like you have it, your vibration is such that law of attraction must line you up with things like that. And that's true whether you're talking about relationships, whether you're talking about building of empires, whether you're talking about attracting people to help you in your business. It doesn't matter what it is. You've got to find the vibration of it and you've got to practice the vibration of it until the vibration of your desire supersedes the vibration of doubt. And when the vibration of your desire supersedes your vibration of doubt, bam, it happens. And then you say, where have you been? You say, I knew you were coming. I could feel you. At first, I just felt hopeful that you'd be there. But eventually, I started really trusting that you'd be there. And then, not very long ago, I knew you'd be there. And there you are. But the things you want can't come until you achieve that knowing and that knowing doesn't come easily because you've been practicing not knowing so you really have to get to the place where you don't talk so much to people who don't understand and you talk to those who do understand or you just keep your own counsel
There's no reason for you to experience anything less than what you want. And if you have the ability to imagine it, this universe has the ability to give it to you. Knowing it, knowing that you want it, asking for it is step one and step two, because you've asked and the universe is given. Now you just have to get out of the way.